we see a whole host of interesting and strange discoveries with each passing day. As science constantly advances and researchers continue to draw closer to the answers they may be looking for, our world becomes a little more peculiar and a little more fascinating as we begin to understand more about it. From the busiest cities to the most remote continents, there is an abundance of research opportunities. Sometimes the most scientifically active places are the ones you may least expect. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting discoveries from tucked away locations. Substance found in Antarctic ice may solve a Martian mystery. Deep within an ice core from Antarctica, scientists discovered a mineral that is commonly found on the planet Mars. Researchers are ecstatic as it reveals a little bit more about Mars's history and its similarities with Earth. The mineral, known as jarosite, is a brittle, yellow-brown substance forged when dust gets trapped in early ice deposits. The research team was not expecting to find jarosite during their expedition. Instead, they were looking for records of Ice Age cycles. By taking a 1,620-meter-long ice core, the researchers would examine the minerals and see detailed layers of the Earth's history within the past few thousand years. They did not expect to find dust deep in the core. The team measured how it absorbed X-rays and examined them under electron microscopes to confirm the mineral's identity. The NASA Opportunity rover first found jarosite on Mars in 2004. The rover discovered the mineral because it had driven over finely ground layers of it. It was a groundbreaking discovery, as jarosite needs iron, potassium, sulfate, acidic conditions, and water to form. Researchers finally had irrefutable proof that there had been water on Mars. The planet is covered in thick deposits of jarosite, revealing just how crucial glaciers were in forming its valleys and land. The leading theory is that Mars was once covered in massive ice deposits billions of years ago. Dust accumulated under the ice sheets and eventually transformed into jarosite. The dust found in the Antarctic ice core was cracked and smoothed, revealing it had been formed and eroded from chemicals while in the ice. This suggests that the jarosite found on Mars had been created in the same way, providing a window into the planet's water-limited and acidic weathering. Geologists explain that even though only tiny jarosite particles were found in Antarctica's ice core, it is still a crucial discovery. The mineral is created from dust, which Antarctica only receives a small amount from the other continents. Mars, on the other hand, is full of dust, encouraging the formation of jarosite. Researchers want to investigate further whether Mars's ancient glaciers incited the creation of other minerals as well, contributing to the planet's entire chemical makeup. They just never expected the deep ice in Antarctica to be the most crucial link to the Martian environment. We are now one step closer to understanding Mars's chemical makeup and formation process. LIGO sees its biggest black hole crash yet. Approximately 7 billion years ago, two large black holes collided to form a new massive black hole. To date, this collision still stands as the largest to have ever been detected, and the black hole that it formed is still the largest that has ever been found. When it was first discovered, scientists were baffled as to how it could even exist at all. The ripples from that massive collision were picked up on the two laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory detectors in the United States and another one in Italy on May 21, 2019. These waves had been hurtling through space for billions of years. The waves were the result of the merger between two or more black holes, one of which was 85 times the mass of the Sun and the other one which is roughly 66 times the mass of the Sun. After the two collided, they had created a new supermassive black hole that was 142 times the mass of the Sun. The rest of the nine times worth of Sun's matter was converted into energy after the collision, which shook the universe enough for LIGO and Virgo to detect and interpret the ripples it gave off, which allowed scientists to learn and understand how black holes as big could even exist. 
Nelson Christensen, a member of the Virgo collaboration, said in a statement, This signal doesn't look much like a chirp, which is what we typically detect. It is more like something that goes bang. That bang shook our region of space for approximately a tenth of a second, after traveling for a longer period of time than any gravitational wave that has previously been detected. After analyzing the shape of the wave, scientists were able to determine the type of black holes involved and their exact size. Until this discovery was made, black holes were thought to have fallen into two different categories, stellar mass black holes and supermassive black holes. Stellar mass black holes are known to form from collapsing stars, and typically don't get much larger than a few dozen times the mass of the Sun. Stellar mass black holes are the black holes that LIGO and Virgo have previously detected merging. Supermassive black holes are on the other end of the spectrum. These consist of masses on a much larger scale, which can be millions or billions of times that of the Sun, with a gravitational force which can grow whole galaxies around them. The Milky Way has one, as well as most other similar galaxies, although scientists aren't exactly sure about where they came from or how they formed. No merger of such a monstrous black hole has ever been detected. Gravitational wave astronomy is still a relatively new science, so it's impossible to be certain. As LIGO, Virgo and future detectors gather more data from different events in space, further research should be able to paint a clearer picture and it's hoped that supermassive black holes should become easier to explain in the not-too-distant future. Huge Polonia Hole Appears in Antarctica Sea Ice Despite being in the dead of Antarctica's sub-zero winter with frozen-over oceans, massive holes have been opening up in Antarctica's sea ice and puzzling scientists for decades. Their most recent occurrence was during the 2016 and 2017 winters, but researchers have been aware of them even in the 1970s. Now they've finally figured out why and how they exist. These holes are called polonias, which is Russian and translates to hole in the ice. They are massive, with the smallest one being roughly South Carolina's size, which covers just over 32,000 square miles. To figure out why they were forming, researchers used various creative methods to gather data on the ocean and ice. They placed floats throughout the southern ocean with sensors to produce a record of the climate quality and measure its variability during the winter season. Researchers even attached sensors to elephant seals, placing them on their heads to gather data on the ocean underneath the ice. These sensors helped the scientists understand how the ocean water gets mixed up while below the surface, drawing the cold water down and bringing the relatively warmer water to the top. This water that rises is then hot enough to melt the ice. For these giant voids to open up in the ice, many environmental components need to come together at the right time. Surprisingly, the formation of polonias is not a gradual process. It appears without notice. Suddenly, the ice gives way and a giant hole appears in the middle of the floating ice, despite it being some meters thick. Scientists have also considered the impact that moored rise has on the formation of polonias. This massive mountain lies under the water near the holes and is large enough to intensify the water's movement, sending warm water to the surface. Despite the mountain's colossal size, proximity and potential influence, researchers note that polonias do not occur every year. They finally figured out that violent storms play a critical role in the formation of polonias. The Southern Ocean is a dangerous area during the winter, as storms occur nearly every day and with hurricane force gales. The strong winds attack the ice, blowing through its cracks and constantly rocking it. It agitates the water under the ice, forcing the cold water layer down and pushing the warm and saltier water up. The winds increase the water's movement, causing the ice to melt. Some winters have had the storms and wind occurring closer to the continent than others, pummeling the ice and water so much that polonias end up forming. Scientists reveal that the amount of heat coming from the rising water is substantial and damaging. When polonias occur, they release massive amounts of hot air into the atmosphere, which then affects weather patterns worldwide. If a hole is large enough, it can even affect the tropics' rain patterns 
for a few years. But what do you make of these three interesting discoveries from around the world? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.